lovelies, so today I am doing an unboxing, unbagging of Lip Monthly. This is my very first one. I actually am obsessed with lip gloss. I'm trying to get more into lipsticks and lip liners and everything else has to do with lips. But, uh, so I thought this would be a good alternative. It is um, $10 for four, every four months or something like that. I don't remember, but I'll put the information in the down bar where you can get it and how much it is and that kind of stuff. It came in this cute little bag, so I'm going to go through each one. I'm not wearing anything on my lips. The only thing I have on my lips is I put chapstick on because it just had like foundation and my lips were really dry. So I will um, do lip swatches for you if there are lip products in here, which I sure hope there are because that's why I got it and it's called Lib Monthly. All right, so let's take a peek. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Okay, so the first item that I grab is City Color White Gold. I have no idea what it is. So this is the little package it comes in. Which looks it explains somewhere what it is. Okay, so it's like this very creamy substance. Oh, maybe there's like a thing in here. I always like throw that away. So this gold contraption stuff is an MMU City Color Cosmetics White Gold Shadow and Highlight Mousse. Ugh, it's kind of messy. Ooh, it's very creamy, but it's very sticky. I'm gonna do two layers of it. This is such a weird substance. I don't know, I think, I feel like it would crease a lot, but it's very pretty, but I definitely don't think I would use it as a highlight because uh, I would be like beaming in the sun. But it's a really pretty color for the lid with like a darker gold and like the crease. But yes, it is very sticky. I have a ton left on my finger. It doesn't act like eyeshadow at all. Okay, so that's the first thing. That'll be kind of fun to play around with. But the next thing I grab out of here is a product by Heat. And it's a lipstick and it's in Cabernet. Let's see. Um, the full size is $13. This isn't the full size, it looks big. Maybe there's not as much lipstick in it or something. I don't know. Okay. So it's pretty plain packaging, which is always nice. And it's a lipstick that I'm excited about. Um, it's a really pretty berry red. I guess that's not full size. This would literally last me the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you on my skin and then on my lips. So it's nice and creamy and it's a really pretty color. Now I'm going to this on my mouth. Really good. Like I always think lipsticks are getting super drying, but they've been getting so moisture-y. This is a very daring color for me. It makes my teeth look a little bit um, yellow, but um, it's a really pretty color. I just don't know if I'm brave enough to pull it off. On to the next product. I have a lip liner. Oh, and it's a really pretty color. I haven't even told you about it yet, but it's a really pretty color. It is an Ofra lip liner in nude. It is very smooth and mm, not really a color I wear because I'm so fair I don't really go for a true nude but this is really a true nude like a brownie nude so if you like a nude lip 
this is for you. I'm going to put it on. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Okay, so the verdict on the lip liner is I think that some people are really going to like this. I put it all over my lips and they feel a bit drier now. Uh, and I'm just not a huge fan of nude, but I feel like this would be really good underneath a color. So I'm going to keep this on and hope that I get another lip product. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next thing that I grab out of my bag is a bear brush, which I love brushes. This is the Crown Lip Brush. Full size is $3. I actually love brushes for lipstick and lip products. If I do anybody else's makeup, I love using this because I have a very easy time with lipsticks, but everybody has different sizes and different peaks, and sometimes it's really difficult to get with the lipstick. This has a really awesome point to it. Last product I have in here is a lipstick by NYC. It's the Expert Last Purple Crush. This doesn't look purple at all. Let's see. Maybe once it's on my skin it'll look purple. I guess the sheen is a little bit purple, but on camera it is a little bit purple but in person it does not look purple at all it looks exactly like the packaging I'm extremely confused this shade is really pretty and something I would wear so I'm pretty excited about that Never mind that I'm putting it over the nude lip liner nice and creamy this color I prefer it to the other color it however is not purple at all so maybe it's just a cute name that they came up with but it's definitely called purple crush and it is not purple at all like not even a hint but I like it so that doesn't matter I really liked the bag it was interesting I'm actually glad that they put some other things in there than just lipsticks I think that would have been a bit panicky for me like I think I would have had a hard time with that so I'm really glad that they put some other products in besides just lipsticks but I was kind of hoping for a lip gloss just because I love them um, but that's okay I really like it I'm impressed for ten dollars it was pretty cute and I like the bag it's very nice so all in all I think it was really great so I hope you guys enjoyed it in the comments down below let me know what you liked best, what you thought suited my face the best, I guess, and what do you think of this purple crush? Do you guys see purple? It kind of does look a little bit of a sheen on camera, but in person, not so much. But what do you think? Maybe I'm just going crazy. So in the comments down below, talk to me. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day, and as always, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.